Hello, I am Victor Paredes and I want to show you how the gravity dynamics work. So basically, if you watch the other video about dynamics, you know that some bones can react to the movement of a character. So if I shake a character, the dynamics gone, bones are going to react to that shake. So if I set, for instance, the arm to be dynamics, maybe the arms and legs in this case, um, I will just set the angle to be dynamic. You can see the arms and legs are reacting to that movement. Now with Moog 14 we have another option here which is gravity. So if I go to the force window here, sorry the force tool, this tool used to be called wind but now we are calling it force because also it can also con uh, control the gravity. So I can define gravity here so I can define the strength of the gravity. So now if the gravity is very heavy it's going to pull the the dynamics bones down so now they are pulling down or i can change the, the direction of the gravity so maybe i can pull them to the left so you can see how the dynamics bones are reacting to that so i can even animate wherever i want to pull the gravity so the dynamics they look different now with gravity it they have more weight so it feels more like a like a little puppet moving so let me just shake this character a little bit, maybe like that. And now to the top and down, maybe this. So now we can see how everything is reacting now with the gravity. Okay, and I can apply the same to the tail. So I can apply angle uh, constraints and maybe I will reduce the spring so now this bone is going to be pointing towards the direction of the gravity so now it will be always pointing down because it's being pulled by the gravity so maybe we'll do the same with the second bone of the tail this one is also going to have uh, angle constraints and no spring at all so it will be always pulled uh, by the gravity down so you can play with the with the values there but now you can see we have gravity and we can also animate the gravity so in this case the gravity is pointing down but maybe i can go to the force tool and make it point up so now i have an animation in which it starts pointing down but that it, then it ends pointing up so you can you can play with this and you can play with the strength too so we have keyframes for all those and actually let me show you a, a quick example here you see I have this animation of this character and actually this character it doesn't have any keyframes at all this character is technically is technically not moving what is moving is the gravity so if I go to the force tool here you can see that the gravity the gravity strength and the gravity direction if you see at the top values here you can see they are changing so the direction is going from one side to the other and the strength is also changing so we have a cycle of that so all this movement is just bones with dynamics reacting to the gravity so it opens some it opens some some nice uh, nice possibilities so i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching bye